Nancy took her son Peter to the bank to discuss his college grant. As soon as they entered the hall, Nancy pointed at these three managers and yelled, It's your father! The first manager said, Miss, I've just moved from another state. I've never seen you before. The second person said, I can't be his father because I'm a woman. And the third manager said, I think we went to the same college, but I've never even talked to you. Can you spot who the real father is? The first guy, look at his face. He has the same eye color as Peter. In the city of Riddles, only 5% of citizens don't list their phone numbers. If we select 20 random people from the city's phone book, how many of them would have unlisted phone numbers? Zero. If the number is in the book, it means that the number is listed. Lisa has five sons. The names of the first four guys are Marco, Tucker, William, and Thomas. Can you guess the name of her fifth son? Is it Frank, Evan, or Alex? The answer is Frank. Each son's first name begins with the first letters of the days of the week. Marco for Monday, Tucker for Tuesday, William for Wednesday, Thomas for Thursday, and Frank for Friday. Bob entered a coffee shop. Suddenly, he realized that he'd forgotten his wallet at home, so he didn't have any money to pay for his drink. Jake, the barista, offered Bob a deal. I'm going to tell you three facts about myself. If you manage to spot one lie, your drink is free. Bob agreed. Here's the first fact. Jake has three brothers. Next, Jake hates the color red. And the third one, he has a PhD in philosophy. Can you help Bob get his free drink? The second fact is false. Jake's phone case is red, but he said that he hated that color. Someone robbed a famous jewelry shop this night between 2 and 3 a.m. In the morning, the owner called the police. He wanted this kept quiet, so he didn't share any details with the journalists. The officers have found suspects previously accused of similar robberies and asked them just one question. What were you doing last night? Peter said, Between 2 and 3 a.m., I was playing video games with my friend. He can confirm my words. Bill replied, I watched a TV show with my family and went to bed at 11 p.m. Rick said that he had spent the whole night in a nightclub because he was a DJ. Who robbed the bank? Peter, how could he know the exact time of the robbery? These customers look pretty innocent, but one of them is a thief. Can you guess who? This lady's hiding a pizza in her bag. Take a look at these two guys. Which one of them isn't smart? The lady is acting less smart. The pilot has a co-pilot at least. Can you find anything odd here? This pen is from another century. I've been around for millions of years, but I'm never more than a month old. What am I? And the correct answer is the moon. April found herself locked in a castle. She can't jump out of the window, it's way too high, and the tree is too far to climb down. April can pass through one of its four doors, but it's not that simple. Hungry lions are waiting behind the first door. 
there's a fierce fire behind the second door. A completely dark maze with traps is behind the third door. And the mad owner of the castle is waiting behind the fourth door. If he sees her, he'll imprison her forever. Which way should April go? She should choose a tree branch to make a torch and light it in the second room. Then she can light her way into the maze and escape. Can you count the exact number of fingers in this picture? Someone's waving here. There's only one hand with five fingers. Cherry went to the Caribbean islands on vacation. The weather was sunny and the day was just perfect. She was chilling at the beach. Suddenly, Cherry found an empty glass bottle with a cork plugged in its mouth very tightly. There was a diamond ring inside the bottle, suspended by a string. How can Cherry make the ring drop to the bottom of the bottle if she's not allowed to touch anything? Neither the bottle, nor the cork, the string, or the ring. Any ideas? Cherry will need a magnifying glass to accomplish this task. As we mentioned before, the weather is sunny, so she can use the bright sun rays to burn through the string and make the ring drop to the bottom. Rachel and Mike went on a date. They saw this weird restaurant and decided to check it out. The cook offered them chicken salad, mushroom soup, fish, pasta, and tacos. Can you help the guys choose the safest option? Can you see the broken glass in the salad? Probably not the healthiest option. This fish is still alive. There are worms inside this pasta. As for the soup, it contains little bugs. So, Rachel and Mike should choose the tacos. You can pour up to 20 cups of tea into the first teapot. How many cups of tea can the second teapot fit? Can you guess? The second teapot can fit 10 cups of tea because its spout is placed in the middle of the teapot. The rest of the tea will just start to spill through the spout. Emma wants to be a singer, so she started going to the city's most popular and expensive art school. But now, she needs to get some work to pay the bills. Emma found these three job advertisements. Brad needs a manager in his coffee shop. Sophie needs a hostess for her karaoke club on the seventh floor of the local business center. And Lisa offers a part-time job in her model agency. But first, Emma must pay $500 for a four-week training. Only one of these jobs isn't fake. Can you guess which one? There's no seventh floor in this building. Look at Lisa's picture. Someone scrawled the word scammer on her car. So Emma should choose Brad. Take a look at this picture. How many ways can you think of to read the word tiger? You can find up to 60 ways to read tiger. The easiest way is to start with the letter T in the center and then move on vertically or horizontally. Nina is a famous blogger. She entered some famous dangerous caves for exclusive pictures. Suddenly, the cave began to shake. Nina had to run out, but she forgot which way she got there. She faced four tunnels leading outside. There are dangerous scorpions in the first tunnel. There's a fire in the second tunnel. And the third tunnel is filled with toxic gas and the fourth tunnel is all covered with snow and ice cubes. Which way should Nina go? She can use this bucket to grab some snow from the fourth cave to put out the fire in the second tunnel. Jill used to be a professional dancer. Finally, she fulfilled her dream and opened a dance studio in Chicago. Her business gained popularity in the neighborhood very quickly. But one weekend, someone robbed the studio. 
the criminal took all the money and broke the mirrors. Jill called the police and they interrogated four suspects. Dan said that he'd been on a business trip in Seattle. Anna said she spent all weekend at her favorite ski resort preparing for the Winter Olympics. Alex was spending time with his dog at home. And Nita was taking care of her sick boyfriend all night. Who's lying? Anna, look at the street. It's summertime. How would she train at the ski resort? Jessica was having a romantic dinner with her husband. She lit 10 candles. Suddenly, a strong wind pushed the window open and blew off three out of the 10 candles. Let's assume that the wind has left the remaining candles intact. How many candles will Jessica have in the end? Three. The seven candles that the wind didn't touch will eventually melt down completely. This way, only three candles will remain in the end. Diana is a famous diver. She can hold her breath underwater for 15 minutes. One day, Bob visited Diana and told her that he could stay underwater for 30 minutes. Diana replied, No way, I'll give you $5,000 if you show me this trick right now. Bob won. Do you have any idea how? He filled a glass with water and held it over his head for 30 minutes. Tim came for a family dinner to meet the parents of his girlfriend, Hillary. He entered an empty living room and saw a big table with several chairs. Hillary offered him to take a seat. Can you guess which chair Tim should choose? There's a mug near this chair that says, World's Best Dad. So this chair belongs to Hillary's father. This chair is missing one leg. It will be embarrassing to fall in front of everybody. Someone left a red jacket on this chair. Hillary's wearing a red skirt, therefore, it's her chair. Someone put a prank pillow on this chair. So let's rule that option out. There's only one chair to choose from. It looks pretty safe. One rainy evening, Rob returned home from work. Unfortunately, someone had robbed his apartment. The thief took all the jewelry and the cash from the safe. Rob called the police and they asked three suspects what they'd been doing during the day. Becky said, I've been dealing with my laundry in the basement. I haven't seen anything suspicious. Jill said, I was shopping all day. And besides, how would I know the combination to unlock your safe? Bill said, I've been writing music in my home office all day. I was wearing soundproof headphones, so I didn't hear any sounds outside. Sorry, bro. Can you guess who the thief is? Jill. They didn't mention the safe yet, but Jill had already started to make excuses. I have 13 hearts, but not a single brain. Who am I? I'm a deck of cards. Bill got a job in the circus. He was walking down the street after his first day and noticed that he'd forgotten his phone at work. Bill went back and heard weird noises from the dressing room. So he went to check and met three clowns. Bill realized that one of them was an imposter right away. Can you spot him too? Look closer. The second clown is wearing a police badge. He must be working undercover. Samantha runs a fruit shop in a village called Puzzle. She sells grapes for $30, dates for $25, and raspberries for $55. Can you guess the price of one fig? $15. Each letter costs $5. This is Puzzle Village after all. 
Jerry purchased some very rare and exclusive vintage dishes online. The next day, he found a box on the porch of his house. Unfortunately, someone had broken all the dishes. Jerry questioned three people. The delivery guy said, I, uh, I carried the box very carefully and left it on the porch. I followed your instructions, sir. Oliver, the neighbor, said, I haven't seen the box at all. I'm sorry, bro. What a waste of money. And Rob, the gardener, said, I think I saw some weird guy crawling around your house a few hours ago. Who's lying? Oliver, take a look at his footsteps. There are similar footsteps next to the box on Jerry's porch. Fiona woke up in a creepy abandoned castle. She searched the area and found some old furniture and these four doors leading to freedom. But each door is hiding dangerous creatures. An angry dragon is waiting behind the first door. The floor behind the second door is all covered with venomous snakes. There's a gorgon behind the third door. She turns to stone everyone she looks at. And there's a wicked werewolf behind the fourth door. Can you help Fiona choose the safest door? She should take the mirror and show it to the Gorgon. She will turn herself into stone, and Fiona will be able to escape through the third door. Can you remove two matchsticks to make the equation below true? Here's the right way to do it. Will and Frank went hiking and found a beautiful spot on a deserted beach. They set up camp to settle down for the night. The next morning, the guys got out of the tent and found out that someone had stolen all food supplies and fishing equipment. Take a look at this picture. Can you guess who stole the food? There are no animal tracks on the sand, but that doesn't prove anything. Pay attention to the water level. In the evening, it was significantly lower. Nobody stole their food. Waves washed away their bags. Can you see this carrot in the water? Fiona received an invitation to a party in a secret VIP club. She reached her destination, but the guard refused to let her in without the password. Any ideas what it might be? Take a look at the door. It has four stars, and each star has a specific number of rays. It's a hint. The correct password is 4657. Josh arrived at a music festival as a volunteer. His task was to help musicians get ready for their performances. Oh, yeah. One day, he entered one of the dressing rooms and found a famous singer, Tyler, unconscious on the floor. He called the police and questioned three people nearby. Gerald said, I was walking by. I've never seen this musician before. Hmm. Liam said, I'm so sorry. I'm a huge fan of Tyler. I'm going to send him flowers to the hospital. Hmm. And Ashley said, I went to this festival just to hear his singing. Can I get a refund for my ticket? Who is a liar? Gerald. He said that he'd never seen Tyler, but look at his t-shirt. It has a print of Tyler's face. Busted. Jane bought her morning coffee and headed to her office, but she suddenly realized she'd left her wallet at the checkout. She ran back to the coffee shop, but the wallet was gone. Jane saw three people standing nearby and told them, I forgot my wallet here. Have you seen it? Nick, the barista, said, Sorry, I didn't see any wallets. I was focused on the drinks. Danny, the owner, said, Lady, I'm a millionaire. I don't need to steal wallets. Kelly, the customer, said, I think I saw someone suspicious. He was holding a pink wallet. It looked exactly like yours. Can you guess which person is a thief? Kelly. Jane didn't mention the color. Sally and Frank were celebrating their wedding. 
Suddenly, a wicked witch popped out of nowhere and grabbed Sally. The witch locked Sally in her castle in one room and put a dragon in another room. Frank arrived at the castle to rescue his wife. He faced these two doors with two boards. Only one of the boards tells the truth and another one lies. The first one says, Sally is here and the dragon is in the next room. And the second says, the dragon is in one room and Sally is in the other. Can you help Frank choose the right door? Sally is in the second room. If door one tells the truth, then door two is true too. This is contrary to the terms of the game. If Sarah's daughter is my daughter's mom, who am I to Sarah? The correct answer is daughter. Pretty simple, huh? Noah decided to prank his new co-worker Mike, so he sent him this weird message. <laughs> I want you to get something that looks like a square from the outside but also looks round when opened. And it looks like a triangle when taken out. Can you help Mike figure out this riddle? He should order a pizza. Amy lives in a cozy townhouse with three roommates. Jill, Alice, and Nora. Can you guess which one of these four roommates belongs to Amy? See this comb with green hair in the first room? It looks just like Nora's hair color, so it's probably her room. In the second room, there's a sock under the bed. Jill's wearing the same sock on her left foot, so let's exclude the second room too. And now, let's take a look at the fourth room. There's a decoration on the wall, a large letter A. Therefore, this could be both Amy's room and Alice's room. But how can we guess who lives there? Very simple. In the third room, there's a yellow jacket hanging on the back of the chair. And Alice is wearing yellow trousers. These are two parts of one suit. Therefore, Amy lives in the fourth room. Kelly baked a big chocolate cake for her birthday. She left it in the office kitchen to celebrate together with her co-workers during lunch hours. But when she returned to the kitchen, she saw that someone had dropped the cake on the floor. She questioned four suspects. Jackson said, I've been printing documents all morning. I haven't been in the kitchen yet. Hmm. Kelly said, I entered the kitchen only once to make coffee and that cake was fine. Hmm. Melanie said, are you kidding me? I'm allergic to chocolate. I can't even touch it. And Alice said, I've had meetings outside the office all morning. I've just arrived. Who is lying? Melanie. If she's allergic to sugar, why is she holding a bitten chocolate bar in her pocket? 